wrestle line with none other than I can call you legend, I believe. The Wonder Kid, well, Johnny well. Storm, uh, is here with us. Um, iconic Essex wrestler, no <laughs> doubt about it. Um, how are you doing these days? I'm all right, mate. Yeah. I'm back in Essex, so mm -hmm. all is good, I guess. Yeah. The world. Uh, obviously, you're at All Star Wrestling today. Mm -hmm. um, you've been around for a long time, so good opportunity to ask you what is some of the sort of big differences in All Star Wrestling compared to a lot of the other uh, wow. markets out there. Um, I would say with All Star, you're pretty much always guaranteed to do a, a brilliant venue mm -hmm. do you know what i mean and obviously as everybody knows they're more family orientated crowds yeah. but that doesn't mean to say you're not going to get like some mm -hmm. great wrestlers on there like tonight dean to extreme yeah, yeah you know nathan cruz all those sort of guys so um i would say just because they're more full-time wrestlers mm -hmm. they're wrestlers wrestlers if you right. know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a difference between mm -hmm. you know guys who maybe just do it once or twice a month mm -hmm guys who do it full time for a sure. living so um, 100% 9 times out of 10 when you're doing that uh, yeah and the, the look and feel of it is like quite different as well like I like kind of the smoke going across it yeah. just gives like this old feel of like nostalgia like 70s territory yeah like an old boxing scene it's kind of cool uh, and I think having the audience on one side does like it seems to me all the focus is actually in the ring as mm -hmm. opposed to like you've got an entrance way and lighting and sure. all those kind of things so I think like it's kind of cool even though it is tailored, like you say, for a family audience, the focus is in the ring mm -hmm. as opposed to anything else. Sure. Like, I mean, they don't just do... They do a lot of theatres, which a lot of normal shows don't do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that gets back to more... They run venues where you could go see like a famous comedian or sure. a famous pop band or mm -hmm. something like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, like you say, when it is just... On the stage, everyone's just focusing on the ring, and mm. that's it. It's a little bit. It's a good experience for wrestlers coming in nowadays mm -hmm. because they. I always say it would be. It's like working to the hard camera, and the hard mm -hmm. camera's like the main camera, sure. on the ring mm -hmm. when you're being filmed. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And a lot of wrestlers are taught to work towards that because that's where. Yeah. You know the main people are watching. You mm -hmm. know thousands, millions of people watching it on mm -hmm. the TV rather than you know maybe the hundreds or thousands. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and sure. uh, while you're here, I mean, great person to ask. And you know, some wrestlers in the UK have been a bit up and down where they sit on the fence with this. But um, British wrestling at the moment, do you see it, it's still in a boom period because a lot of people are saying, you know, it's NXT UK's come in, they've taken all that now, the steam's gone. Where do you sit with that as a person in the trenches? And obviously, you know, you're in and around it. Is it as doom and gloom as what people are saying, or is this just a little bit of negative? I don't think so. Like mm -hmm. as we all know, wrestling has cycles. Like it's mm -hmm. always ups and downs. Yeah. And yeah, I would say it is a down at the moment. But mm -hmm. I, I don't personally see it as a down that's any different from any other down that, that we've had mm -hmm. over the years and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's always talent coming up, and there's always talent coming through, and there's always like the veteran guys who who will be around and stuff like that to mm -hmm. help and learn and teach the guys coming through now. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I mm -hmm. think it's a good time. Well, how many chances now are there for guys to get full-time contracts? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, when yeah. I started, it was almost zero. Mm -hmm. So, like, from that perspective, mm -hmm. you can get a full-time job in wrestling mm -hmm. a million times easier mm -hmm. than, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah. So that's surely a good thing for mm -hmm. aspiring wrestlers to come up now. Absolutely. There'll always be British wrestling. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. But it's just, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just, it is what it is. You know, yeah. the tendency is maybe down a little bit. But that is the job, you know. Mm. It's not always going to be hits every time out. You can't work in front of a thousand people every no, weekend, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's the extremes of wrestling. You mm. could be a thousand people tonight, two people tomorrow. Mm. That's the job. Sure. And you're talking about teaching just um, on that. Obviously, you're doing some stuff yourself now. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to tell us about that. Cause then, and how is that, you taking on that role? Like, Do you feel that's something you're quite natural at, like with the coaching stuff, or you've grown into it? Is that something you've always wanted to do? Um... While I'm still active, obviously, it's nice to do it and mm -hmm. stuff. I do enjoy doing it. Uh, I think it will be probably a more role I'll do more yeah. full-time yeah. when I get out of wrestling. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I absolutely love seeing uh, some of these guys coming through now. And I'm a big believer in you've either got it or you haven't. Mm -hmm. and you can. There's only so much you can teach if someone yeah. hasn't got it. It doesn't mean to say they can't wrestle mm -hmm. or be on shows and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But to have that thing, yeah. do you know what I mean? And you can naturally see if someone's got it in a sure. training session. I quite like... Mm -hmm. seeing that yeah, and yeah. Uh, 
yeah, the, the session I did today for the UBW school, mm -hmm. um, they got some really talented guys and girls there. So, uh, like I say, there's always going to be youngsters coming up, and mm -hmm. there's, there'll always be a British wrestling future. Is there anybody that's not well known now that you think is going to come along in the next couple of years that we should be looking at that you see potentially? Um, I could probably tell you ten or, people. Yeah. Okay, but if so. I don't mention someone, they'll all start crying. <laughs> okay, you know enough. what I mean? That's not cause any. It, the future's safe, <laughs> cool, I will say. Cool, that's yeah. good. Um, <laughs> and you yourself, like I remember going to your call, Bethnal Green, um, FWA days, long time ago now. But um, to a lot of fans like myself, that's sort of a an old nostalgic oh, yeah. feel uh, that we had there. And there was a sort of massive family kind of thing. A lot of people coming from it. How do you look back on that now like what is your perception of the fwa and what it's given to where we are now because it's very odd to think about it but it was almost like we had one sort of big promotion yeah. and, and now we've got yeah. sort of you know i think of it i think of it as the ecw of england right yeah. of english wrestling because yeah, yeah. that was like in america that was mm -hmm. their sort of rebel company mm -hmm. a big deal over yeah, there yeah. but it was like number three wasn't mm -hmm. it you know we've never really had a number one company, no. British wrestling company mm -hmm. in England, like obviously All Star has been around fifty years, yeah. and they run the most shows mm -hmm. and you know use the most wrestlers and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think the FWA, like you say, was a niche thing. Yeah. So that's the way I look at it as uh, innovative for its time, mm -hmm. ahead of its time. Yeah. Um, you know, just something completely different mm -hmm. and showed put more of a focus on British wrestling in a time when there was no focus on British sure. wrestling. And just to sum up, like, just FWA, like, when it comes to the end, do you think that's, like, what you said just a, a second ago about it was ahead of its time? Do you think that's why it suffered towards the end? That there just wasn't a, enough demand for it? And that if something like that was around now, they might have... Maybe. You know? Maybe, but then, you know, they lasted for, I don't know how long it lasted. It was a few it's years, wasn't it? years, yeah. So, so I, I don't know why it died, really. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't really say. I just know... Like you say, it was a great team. Mm -hmm. It was great wrestling shows. The fans were absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. There was nothing like it yeah, at its yeah. time. And I think even now, like the stuff we were doing back then, mm -hmm. people are doing now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this generation that's come up nowadays, we were doing this stuff 20 years ago, and fans nowadays mm -hmm. don't even know that, which yeah. is scary yeah. in a way, you know. We're, yeah. we're obviously all getting older and stuff, mm -hmm. but I think me and Jody were saying this last night in Germany at a show, like... Mm -hmm. How amazing is Will Ospreay and that yeah, Ricochet yeah, yeah. match that went viral? Mm -hmm. That, to us, mm -hmm. obviously it was absolutely fantastic. That's an updated version of what we were doing yeah, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's, That's amazing, what I'm saying. Right? Are, are, that, you that just, are you guys ahead of your time? Because if YouTube and social media had been a thing, you 100%. guys would have easily it gives gone me goosebumps, viral. goosebumps, man, thinking about, about it. it. Yeah, 100%. You know, you and Jody's matches... Everyone was praising that, and yeah. the only time we really got to see something was like the revival shows and stuff like that. Mm. Got, got on, um, I think Tommy Boyd, yeah, yeah, some yeah. Promoting with it, as I recall. Um, but it's funny because I see a lot of those guys around Doug and Jody and RJ, and you know, they're all from that same cloth, mm -hmm. all some of them still around today, mm -hmm. uh, including yourself. When you talk about your career, how uh, what is like a perfect ending for Johnny Storm? What is like an arc ending. <laughs> if you could book it yourself, what would be the perfect? Would it be a match? Would it be some sort of promo? What, what would be perfect for Johnny Storm? I know Storm? exactly what it would be. To make some money. <laughs> <laughs> cha <-ching>, come over. <laughs> well, the subject gets down to the Johnny Storm website. No, in all seriousness, um, to get a nice full-time contract, yeah. like... I'm a big believer in as long as you can still do it in the ring, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how old you are. I'm not saying I'm old. No. People think we're older guys, and we are to a certain extent, but it's only because we started when we were yeah, so young. I was 16 yeah, yeah. Yeah. when I started. Mm -hmm. You know? It's so it's like, yeah. we're not elder statesmen by mm -hmm. any means. Mm -hmm. and stuff. I think when I can't do it in the ring anymore, mm -hmm. that's when I'll knock it on the head. But yeah. from my perspective, maybe I'm wrong. But I think I can hang with the guys nowadays mm -hmm. and I'll stuff like can, that. Yeah. And yeah. You know, I've still got a lot to give to the show mm -hmm. but the challenge we have now is we got to reintroduce ourselves to the new fans because mm -hmm. there's always new fans coming yeah. through and a cycle yeah, yeah. stuff you know fans like yourself who mm -hmm. are lifetime lifelong fans mm -hmm. is amazing we mm -hmm. love that but we got to prove ourselves now to mm -hmm. these guys out there mm -hmm. who don't necessarily know us because mm -hmm. they're younger and they're growing up into it you know like you were yeah, when yeah. you were younger yeah. and stuff yeah. so yeah. I think that's the challenge but getting back to your question would be to yeah like It'd be nice to get paid 
in recognition for mm. what we've done. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, as you know, on the indie level, you know, there are some good paydays and stuff mm. like that, but it's not enough to live off mm -hmm. necessarily. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, there's all different ways and mm -hmm. of going about it, but mm. you know, it would be nice to just have a full time contract, work my arse off like mm -hmm. I've been for so many years, and yeah. just put it on a broader scale, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like saying social media and mm -hmm. stuff like that, just mm -hmm. to. You know, the, everyone knows us sort of around the world, I guess, but yeah. like, and here we are still, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, still yeah. at that level, mm -hmm. showing everybody what we can do and getting paid mm -hmm. to reflect yeah. the effort that yeah. we're doing. Uh, and I was asked this to uh, guys, but I'm very interested in your answer here. Who, when you were growing up as a fan, sort of was your sort of inspiration? And then when you started to learn wrestling, I always think that guys have a different appreciation mm -hmm. to the wrestlers they might have liked when they start training in it. They kind of look for different things after. It's like the, the you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's off and you can kind of see. So who have those people been and sort of... Well, as a fan. As a fan, who, who are you like? <laughs> for, I was obviously a big WWF yeah. fan at the time. Yeah. I used to go to the hotels, mm -hmm. meet the wrestlers after the shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, dress up as <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> seen that one a few times but um, I think being such a fan I never really thought I could be a wrestler mm -hmm. and, but to your question I was a Razor Ramon fan right. that helps yeah, more yeah. than a Shawn Michaels fan mm -hmm. as a wrestler mm -hmm. Shawn Michaels Michael's all the way right yeah, yeah. not to say Razor isn't an amazing wrestler which mm -hmm. he is but I can appreciate the talent yeah, yeah. and what he does in the mm -hmm. ring and how he does it and mm -hmm. things like that yeah that's exactly what you're saying, you know, the veil being lifted mm -hmm. from a wrestler's perspective. You look more at the wrestler's wrestlers, you know, someone sure. you like to wrestle with, mm -hmm. if it's comfortable, how it feels, how you gel together and stuff like that. That's a wrestler's perspective. Mm -hmm. Whereas to the fans, someone I get in the ring with and can't stand being in the ring with, to them, they're not going to know that. No, it would still be a nice match yeah. or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. it's just swings and roundabouts. Yeah, sure. And uh, what sort of stuff do you, do you keep in touch with, like WWE or now AEW's come along? I mean, there's quite a lot out there, but what is your sort of preference on viewings at the moment? What do you enjoy watching? Um, I watched the AEW pay per view, the first one that yes. they did, and I really yeah. enjoyed that. It was great to see guys yeah. like Pac yeah, yeah. and the Bucks doing their thing yeah. in that ladder match. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Like, I've really. We got the opportunity to work the Young Bucks and Ring of Honor last year, and that yeah. was a fantastic yeah, opportunity yeah. just to see, you know. As you get older, you get that little doubt in your mind, oh shit, maybe I can't do it anymore. But we had, we had an amazing match yeah. with them, you know? Mm -hmm. Impact last year, we worked at LAX. Yeah, yeah. Amazing match yeah. with them as well. So yeah. like, we can still do yeah, this yeah. shit, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah, it was all good, man. Like, I think AEW's fantastic for the business, mm -hmm. I would say. I know it scares WWE or whatever, everyone says, I don't think it scares them. Competition's good, yeah, they yeah. know that. Yeah. But they've got to do what they've got to do. Mm -hmm. And like I say, getting back to NXT and stuff like that, loads of boys have got jobs out of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if that's caused them to get full-time contracts and make mm -hmm. a full-time living, that's brilliant. Yeah, of course. Brilliant for the fans, more wrestling product. You've got a choice. Mm -hmm. Or you can watch everything. Does it yeah. matter? Maybe you're a fan of AEW. Maybe you're a fan of WWE. Yeah. Maybe you're a fan of both. It's like some people have just got to go in one camp for some reason. Yeah, but right. actually, It's wrestling. Uh, I mean, as, as older fans, we know WCW and WWE when it was around. It was just, you watch both. Yeah. <laughs> you know, watch what you like, man. Like, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, the man. choices there now. But it's a good time, I guess, in to be an active wrestler in there because now contracts mm -hmm. are becoming quite, you know, they've almost got to cap everybody down. Yeah. It's almost like a, a talent pool of people coming in yeah. just to clamp them down. So it's probably a good time for them because they're going to get clamped down in case sure. they go. go but not for us. Time. No, but I mean, you've got to get over there. <laughs> you will be. So not I can for see us. It. Maybe this is the way it. in. Yeah, can yeah. I get a contract, please, now? <laughs> Uh, well, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, where can people find you on social media? Don't Johnny Storm you. on Facebook. I've got a little cool cartoon character you want to find me. Twitter, Wonder Kid Johnny. Instagram, Wonder Kid Johnny Storm. Nice. But most importantly, Survivor. Big Cartel, Johnny Storm. We've got the brand new Check Johnny Storm t shirts coming out. Well, thank, yeah, thank you very much. Pleasure, the, mate. the legend uh, of no, Essex. Likewise, yeah, mate. Presence. Yeah, thank you, you very much. We've got to sit together, us people. <laughs> we have, we have. There's only a few of us. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah.